Let's talk about why howler monkeys are falling out of trees in the country of Mexico. The deaths of dozens of howler monkeys, I think 160 of them um, at last count, may be the latest sign of the danger that extreme temperatures pose to wildlife around the world. Um, this is from the New York Times. Gilberto Pozo, who is a biologist, was monitoring a small forest in the town of Conduasan. Let's go. That's completely wrong. That is in southern Mexico, by the way. Uh, in er me. <laughs> I did the best I could if you're from there. Now, in, in early May, two mantled howler monkeys fell from a tree in front of the biologist and were literally dead at his feet. They were dehydrated, um, and they did receive treatment, but they did not survive. Now, at first, Dr. Pozo and his team at Cobius, which is a nonprofit conservation group, thought the monkeys had been overcome by smoke from wildfires. Um, that had been going nearby, but they did not have any smoke inhalation or anything like that in their lungs. And come to find out, it was the heat that killed the monkeys. Um, at last count, as of Wednesday of last week, 147 monkeys have died uh, in the states of Tabasco and Chiapas, which is in southern Mexico. Um, this is sad, man. I like monkeys. They're Very cute. Sad. I love monkeys. I've always been like a monkey gal. I have a good monkey impression, but I'm not doing it right now, and you're never going to hear it. But, um... I mean, I don't I, recall uh, a time in the past where things were falling out of trees dead. That's this what seems... I was thinking earlier. Yeah, like, this is so... And, I mean, it's hot. And, you know, we have had record-breaking stuff, but it's not even the hottest time of the year. Right. Not even in Mexico. Like, this... It's been so much hotter than it is now. Yeah, like it's very, and, very bizarre. And this just came out of nowhere as far as the heat goes for us here in Texas. I don't know about you. I know we're not that far apart, but it's like uh, middle of May. It just went from, okay, we still have to use the heater at night to where is this humidity coming from? And yep. it's and it's crazy. still humid. <laughs> yeah, it's it's <laughs> not so. And we're not even talking about the, the crazy ass storms that have been happening um, all around us as well. Yes, yeah. it's, it's Great. scary stuff, Great. man. Scary stuff. Uh, monkeys are not supposed to fall out of trees dead. I know that's not. And I know. mean, also, especially the humidity thing. Like it was like in the. I know it was like in South Mexico, but it was like went in like a tropical kind of area. It was, yeah. It was in it was in tropical forest. Um, yeah. I, I don't know if uh, what country it is that's right there on the border, but it was southern Mexico. Um, and well, all regardless, it, they're used to it bad. <laughs> of course, and these monkeys you know? should like they they should be fine with heat. Like Mexico is hot; it's a tropical environment, so. Um, hopefully they can figure out why this is happening, and um, I, I haven't heard anything more about it, so I don't know, maybe just the weak monkeys have <laughs> gone, <laughs> and all the strong ones are going to be fine. I don't know. I'd don't be know. the first to go. <laughs> Probably me too, yeah. I would just give up and fall. I mean, like, I'm just pure free will. <laughs> like, like, Take me away! 